All right, guys. So I just got this boat off of Craigslist. It's a 15 foot Skeeter bass boat, or runs perfect. Um, it starts up great, it runs great. 75 horse um, Mariner, really nice motor. Um, pushes the boat amazing. And my parents made me take this off. It says bass hole, cause my mom didn't think that was very funny. Got a basic little fish finder right there. Um, it's an eagle fish finder. Um, fire extinguisher, rod holders, I use that for my net. It's a little short for the rod holders. Um, power tilt and trim. So that's pretty sweet. Um, this is for the bilge pump right here. And this is for your lights. Um, speedometer. The boat goes about 40 miles an hour full blown. Foot control trolling motor. Really nice. Here's a live wall up in front. Here's the plug for the trolling motor and that turns on the aerator and the live well and pumps the water into there. It's a pretty big live well. Um, it goes all the way around. Here's for my rods and stuff. Um, just got all my rods in there. Bug spray, digital scale, coffee scent, scissors and pliers, um, the lights for at night, and then a paddle in there. I don't know why that's in there. Um, there's a measurer thing there. And then we got these really nice seats right there. There's two seats. And under the seats, there's storage, and that's where I have all my tackle boxes and stuff. Under both seats, more tackle boxes. And this is another live well, but I probably, since there's two live wells and that one's bigger, I'm just going to use this one as more storage. And then back here you have your gas tank. Trolling motor and stuff, I'm going to shove that full of life jackets. There's your button for the second aerator. So um, that's pretty much the whole boat. Alright guys, just going to run a quick test run here. So first we're going to pull up this trolling motor. Make sure the depth finder's on, deep enough. Let's roll. 